Hello, my name is the one Manny. I stream on twitch.tv slash the one Manny almost every day. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and stream with an anime's avatar on OBS. Setting up your stream for the first time can be tricky, but once it's all set up, uh, you can start and stop your broadcast with ease and you'll be streaming with an avatar, which is the whole point. If you don't already have a Twitch account, you'll need one to stream and want to watch my stream. Uh, so make your account at twitch.tv. Now that you have your Twitch account in order, we need to talk about OBS. I recommend OBS because it's free and very powerful. At times, OBS can be a little bit confusing, but that's why I'm here. So download OBS from their website, which is obsproject.com. Once OBS is installed, add your Twitch stream key, and you can pause this video until you do that. I, I won't take it personally, I'll be right here. Now you can quickly add your stream key to OBS by going to this link, which should bring you to this page, and you simply click the top of the page where it says primary stream key. You can click copy, and then you go into your OBS, click file and settings, and then it should be under the stream tab and you paste it in to this little area or you can click the link button if you want to do that. Okay, now let's get down to business. There are a couple of ways you can stream with animes. You can use the virtual camera, the dedicated capture window, or crop and capture the screen directly. This video will walk you through how to use the dedicated capture window. The dedicated capture window will have less latency than the virtual camera and be quicker and more flexible than cropping the screen directly. The dedicated capture window is one of the perks of subscribing to animes along with a lot of other useful features. To open a dedicated capture window in animes, double click the dots on the right side of the enable virtual camera button. Select the second option in the list, dedicated capture window, and now the window should appear. Next, let's look at OBS. OBS requires one scene. You can add a scene by clicking the plus sign down here and naming it whatever you want. I already have a scene added here. Next, you're going to want to go to sources, click on the plus sign and add a window capture. Name it and press OK. A new window will appear with two options. Select the top box and then select Animes Render Window. If you want to layer animes with another program like a game, you'll follow the same process to add a game window. Now you want to layer your avatar on the top by dragging and dropping the animes window on top of the other windows in the sources section down here. Now you can change the size and shape of the dedicated capture window by right clicking and selecting resize border here. Mine's already selected. You can change the placement and size of the anime's feed in OBS itself. I will quickly also mention there is an option that says always on top. You can turn this off to allow the render window to run behind your games. It does not need to be on top of all your programs to function properly. Now it's time to get rid of your background. Go into animes and select the green screen background by clicking here, going down to the green screen. Click it and confirm. Next, in OBS, click the anime's capture source, right click, filters, then right click again, add, and a chroma key. You don't have to name it anything. It should be perfect as soon as you add it, but you can play around with the sliders if it doesn't look what you would like it to. Looking good, we're almost there. To get your avatars to move smoothly, there are a couple of tweaks I would recommend. First, I would turn off game mode in your PC settings. It's 
very simple. You search game mode, click and make sure it is off. Secondly, I would recommend capping the FPS of animes at 60 FPS. You can adjust the FPS in the graphics section menu in animes. You might be tempted to do a higher frame rate. In most cases, it's going to just consume a lot more resources and make your avatar look a bit slower than it should. Third, in the same section, click on advanced camera control dialog here. Navigate to the camera control and make sure low light compensation is unchecked. This setting will make your camera look choppy. Next, you might need to delay your audio to match your avatar's mouth movement. For me, the delay is usually 50 milliseconds, but it can differ depending on your setup. Click on the mic aux settings in the menu here. Go down to advanced audio properties and adjust the sync offset of your microphone up or down depending on if it is delayed or not. To get the sync just right, I just recorded myself in OBS and tested different delays. Uh, it takes a while, but it's a fun way to spend an afternoon. Finally, calibrate your tracker by pressing Ctrl and C at the same time. And there it is. In fact, with this setup, an accidental face reveal is completely impossible. No one will know that you didn't brush your hair this morning or that you aren't wearing any pants. And oh my goodness, I didn't think it was possible, but here we are. It's time to start your stream. Hit the start stream button on OBS and then you will be live. Way to go. You did great. Thank you.